start. I'll start. Chi? Chi? <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to a Taiwanese episode of Fung Rose Food. Right now we are outside of Joy in Highland Park, kind of a hipster area. This spot symbolizes like this new generation of Taiwanese comfort food restaurants that are sweeping the nation, particularly in Los Angeles and New York. So I'm very, very excited. And you know, we can't eat Taiwanese food without an authentically Taiwan-born stand-up comedian friend, Jason Chenny. Oh, whatever. So sorry, sir, my wife, she's not here today. What's up, man? In the flesh, that's me. I was born and raised in Taiwan, I was so happy. Dude, I was, why are you the guy's boy? guy from Blue's Clues? <laughs> Born in Taipei City, and I'm really excited today to be with Andrew Fong himself in the flesh. We're gonna eat some delicious Taiwanese food. We're gonna talk about Taiwanese identity, especially Taiwanese Americans, and I got another friend coming by, special guest. You ready for this? Let's do it. Let's go. You want, can you correct my no, 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 that was good. My pronunciation. I know Taiwanese people, their Chinese is impeccable. It's impeccable, dude. You, we're at a Taiwanese restaurant. People here speak English. Like they're not. I'll order how I think most people here order. Yeah. Minced pork on rice. Wonton noodles. Yeah. Let's get that. Wen Dun Tai. Ooh. He is a comedian, I'm telling you. You got it? I got it. Maybe we grab some beers here. We're about to get messed up. I won't say the bad word. Alright, everybody. I'm sitting down. To my right, Taiwan born comedian Jason Chenny. And to my left, I got half Taiwanese, but proud Chinese person, dancer, Sheila. Entertainer. Sheila. Sheila, you do a live stream for a Chinese clothing company. Yeah, but I do a lot of videos in Chinese, yeah. Hey, Xiaowang, Can you let them know that you can speak Chinese real quick? Hey, Sheila. I'm a Taiwan person, Taiwan person. Wow, before we get into food, I want to I want to establish one thing. Taiwanese people are very good at Mandarin, but the particular accent and the tone, I feel like, is a little bit more like, zzz, 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 like a little bit. It's zzz, cool. zzz, zzz, no, like we're, we're not bumblebees, dude. <laughs> dude what, why am I here, guys? We have some delicious Taiwanese food here. I was in the kitchen; it looked really interesting. It's not like your typical Taiwanese kitchen. There's like very few Chinese people back there cooking, but I think that's kind of cool nowadays. I feel like it's taking the cleanliness and the minimalisticness of Japanese restaurants, but then serving Taiwanese food. Yeah, to break people in more. Yeah. Hi. Liz, <laughs> you are the manager here at Joy. Yeah. Could you tell them about your background? Well, I'm Taiwanese. My dad's Kaja. The Hakka people are like a separate ethnic group within China and Taiwan. Taiwan. My mom is interesting because she's white, but she lived in Taiwan for over 12 years. So we grew up in like a Mandarin only Kaja, like primarily. What are you guys trying first? I'm gonna do Xiao Cai first, because I always feel like Xiao Cai is like a, like a tea. Here, they kind of serve the side dishes, kind of like how Koreans do with the panchan. You're getting the mush, ear mushroom. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with the lotus root. Xiao Cai means what? Small dishes. Small, small dishes. Chow Thai. Mm. This is great. It's like a little bit of food that makes you want to eat like the main, the main thing. Let's go. What do we got here, man? Tell me what you That That's all I could describe because I don't think a show dropping. So dropping. Oh, but that's the thing. Andrew knows better. What's going on with you? Jason, I mean, when was the last time you went to the <laughs> Shilin Night Market, man? Come on. Sheila, what do we have here, though? Guapao. Pork belly inside a little manto with some peanut and cilantro. And then we have the spicy wonton. This is hong you chao sou. Shout out to my mom, it's her favorite dish. I'm eating half of this shou dropping first because I love shou dropping. This is one of my favorite Chinese snacks to get off the street. It has basil in it. Look at that. Look at everything that it has. So dropping. So dropping. Yeah. All right, you, all right, said, you said, you said, you said so dropping. So dropping. Look at like Oh. I like how it has um, the hua jiao, the Sichuan pepper. You don't like the. I don't like Sichuan pepper, yeah. But I love 
Tom Yum Fing. Here's what I love about Taiwanese food is that it is kind of a mix of Chinese flavors. Yeah. So many Chinese people came over there. This, I just think, adds another layer to the show dropping that nice little Sichuan cake. A little tingle. Uh huh. A little Everybody likes a little tingle. It's kind of spicy, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah. Really? Good. No, I just want to make her feel better by saying it's spicy. But anyway. Fluffy, it's crispy, it's chewy. Guava. Oh, we're not going to cheers it? I just want to touch your guava with my guava. I don't want to cross guava, so that's a little. <laughs> I've already put my guava in my mouth, so. <laughs> mm. That is a food coma waiting to happen, man. It's like melting in my mouth. The pork belly really does not. The pork belly is delicious here. All that fat and juice is just dripping off my finger right now. It looks a little, uh, to pixelate that out, but it's literally just dripping off my hand. That's, that's incredible. That is, whoo! All right, I've had guabaos on the streets of Taiwan. Mm. That is way better. You have nothing to say. This is some of, of these versions of food. This is some of the best versions I've had so far. Next round we have. <laughs> Speaking like an empress from like the, okay. the Qing dynasty. So this is minced pork over rice. You got the mapo tofu, dan dan mian. Uh, that's like a spicy sesame oil sauce. And then you got the spicy wontons. You know, I was gonna get at Jason in his bag. I'm gonna get at him about his chopstick skills. I feel like his chopstick form, you saw that? Yes, I saw, saw that. that. Jason, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. you know, I hold time when these people go very high standard. They're very educated, they're well-to-do, they're smart, very productive. I noticed your chopstick skills, what your chopstick forms huh? was a little questionable. What you do? It's a little questionable. I don't get know. A, get a close what up is this? on this. How dude? come you crossing your fingers? Hey man, that's for support. Uh, but look a little. Look at mine right now, and then look at hers right now. Okay, the, Sheila's is our. That's a that's a retarded crap. Sheila's are terrible. That's a, Actually, I take that back. Sheila has the worst form. It's you, not you even about the form. My that's form your. looks the best. My form absolutely know. looks the best. I stand by my chopstick skills. Well, you're you're half, so you got to pass. She's confused. <laughs> Sheila confused me. I got it, guys. Okay, <laughs> Ludan is my favorite, y'all. It's, it's so tedious to make like really good Ludo because my grandma, I remember growing up, my grandma would just be, dude, they got 39 grandmas in there. My grandma's in there to just cut, just cut. Is that really the speed she would cut at? Yeah, like, Dude, she, she's like, Do you, you guys want to eat Rudolph? Fine, two months later, Rudolph. <laughs> They're chopping at a little faster there. Yeah. On beat. Though. <laughs> mm. So good. Dude, you can fall asleep right after, dude. Good. It's pretty good. It's pretty up there. It's pretty good, but I gotta say, it's a little drier than most Rudolph funds I've had. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to compare it to the Taiwan ones, but like in Taiwan, you know, they come in like the styrofoam little mm. plates and that shit and then, oh, it's like gripping with like that sauce. Um, you just went with the plate and then the sauce and the, ah! This is the Moko Moko Oh no! Oh! Mapo Tofu! Mapo Tofu! Mapo Tofu! That's what yeah. it is. Mapo yeah, Tofu! But, but less aggression. What's the meaning between Mapo Tofu? It's like chicken pock for auntie, right? Yeah. It's a funny name, anyways. Mapo Tofu. Let's try it. Mmm. Okay. Kind of light on the spice. Tofu is soft. I like the rice, y'all. Mmm. It's one of my favorite dishes. It goes so good with the rice. Yeah. This is the dan dan mian. The dan dan mian. <laughs> oh, man. Pulled by green sauce, sesame. Look at my mouth. Yep. I love the cucumber. The cucumber is so. <laughs> They serve that everywhere though. It's like a, they have it in Japan. Tan, tan, they spell it with the T, tan tan noodles. That is a one ton right there. That's what I like to see. Oh, I'm, oh. <laughs> mm. Wow. I love how thin the skin is though. Man. The meat just bursts. Amazing. When did we first, first meet though? The first meet, five, six years ago, going back to Taiwan at LAX. And okay. I was like, yo, the, are you guys the phone bros? And then, and then I remember Andrew was like this. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> he just looked at me. And then we skipped the line. You know why we skipped the line? Because we were doing a video with the Taiwanese Tourism Bureau in LA. I remember really vividly because you cut right in front of me. 
I was like, this dude, head of the Taiwanese uh, Tourism Bureau, yeah. he looked at us and said, Fung Brothers, yeah. do this for Taiwan. <laughs> and then he goes, and then he like shoves us on our way and we're just like, like Lion King? I'm like, oh. I, are, are we Taiwanese now? <laughs> Gambe. 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 Taiwanese food. What are some Taiwanese drinking names though? So the most common one is the Wu Si Su. So basically just like a math game, so Asian. But, so basically you play rock, paper, scissors. Whoever wins, go first. And the goal is to add up to whatever the, whatever the number you call out. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors. I and I win, and I win, so I go first, right? Okay. So I will call out a number from anywhere from five. And Cause there's I, what, 20 fingers between you guys? Yeah, there's 20 total. With eye to eye contact, I would just call out whatever the number that I think she, it would add up between all, all two of uh, all, all two of us. Just if I say ooh, said it's, five. If I say five, then I'm wrong. She has ten fingers out. I got her wrong, so now it's her turn. So what do you want me to go? Just to five. Okay, and if I open five, she got me. She predicted me. But you okay. say it at the time that she says the number, yes. right? So Obviously, because like you don't. If you hear the number and then you throw it out, it's weird. Yeah, so it's like a connection, like quick on your feed when you're drinking game. Right. And then and you I'll go. Say ten. And then if I open both of my hands, or if she opens one of them, add up to 10, yeah. then I have to drink. Right. Kai Tzu. Scissor. Win like a wait. Mayo. You won. See, I got one right there. See? Mayo. I, I, it was 20. Mayo. See? Shi. Kai. Mayo. I'll start. Chi? Chi? <laughs> Chi? What? No! Dude, what are you talking? The increments of five. Bro. Oh! Oh, there's no. <laughs> there's no. <one. laughs> I thought you guys were at. Oh, that's why it's easier. Chi? <laughs> You have to know that game to know how funny that was. Okay. I got I knew it. I'm messing with you guys. Yeah, okay. See? Yeah. See, I messed yeah, with yeah. you guys. I that threw you good. up. I good. threw you up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, he's got it, dude. Ooh. Mail. Wait, so why, why do you, did you just open five? So I said mail, but she opened it too late. Yeah. You slow, dog. Yeah. Chinese people be <laughs> slow. <laughs> okay, so it's my turn. Y'all ready? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. No. We both open. We both open. So, so what? So what, <laughs> so what does that mean? <laughs> Mayo? I drink. Oh, you drink. I have to drink? Yeah. You put mayo and then you put all hands down, so it's nothing. Yeah, so it's so nothing. Person to your so he was drinks. right. Yeah, I was Oh, right. mayo is zero. Mayo is zero. Okay, so we'll do it again. I'll go first. All right, mayo. See? <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited for this. Do you know how mochi, do you, do you know how this is made though? They smack it. Yeah, it's sticky rice. Yeah. And then it, imagine like a wooden, like a, like a bowl, like a big wooden bowl. And then take like a huge, like a mallet. Mallet? I, I don't know. Killer. There's like 39 grandpas back there doing it. With the grandmas. They're, they're a team. And All then right. on top is sesame and peanut. Yeah, black sesame and peanut. Yeah. Man. And how finely ground it is, that's interesting. Oh, we got one more too. Mmm. Wow. Oh my god. Chua <laughs> So, on this side is Hong Dou, um, Yi Tao, and then Zhen Su. And then this side we did fruit and uh, Shen Tao, and then Yu Yan. And we make the Yu Yan. Like, we make everything in house. It's made in house. You just said the, the Yu Yan only. Yeah. It's like the, the orange. The orange thing, yeah, right there. Is this this is not house. sweet potato. Sweet potato. Oh, this is sweet potato. Yeah. I just want to say boba is uh, an invention of Taiwanese people. So, hey man, y'all, you, you guys get credit here. for boba for sure, especially the pearls. Yeah. This is all house made. Okay, chopping. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Really refreshing. Every there's always a line at like most places in Taiwan in the summer, like oh. for chopping. This. Oh my god, the Yuan is so good, dude. Beasting. Mm. I love how it's kind of tropical. Taiwan is an island. Yeah. It has a lot of tro tropical influence. I didn't know that until the first time I went there. Yeah. They have a lot of papaya milk. They have a lot of like durian. 
the Native Americans and the Islanders mm -hmm. that you see in the world, they, their origin is from Taiwan. Taiwan. Yeah, yeah, you heard yeah. that. Yeah, I don't know how factually true it is, but I hear it all the time. So I've actually visited one. You know what's interesting? I went to an Aboriginal uh, village in Taiwan. Yeah. And I visited the tourist thing. Yeah, yeah, I think I did the same. And thing. is it crazy that they have totem poles there? They look very similar, and they're in Taiwan. So I was like wondering. I was like, I see totem poles that I would see in the northwest of America. Mm. So is there some link? And I was just like, yo, this is kind of wild. It's crazy. Because why? How could there be totem poles in both? Ends across the Pacific. Originals in the Indian hair here, they they all have a leaf thing and they all have like little paint things that they put on their face. And we're talking about Taiwanese Aboriginals Aboriginal. and Native Americans. Yeah, and yeah. They, they don't they, they share eat. similarities. Yeah, they share a lot of similarities. Um, when you went on that tourist thing, did you go tea leaf picking? I did. I think Paula. it was the same tour. I went tea leaf picking the Assam tea farms. Yeah. <laughs> and then did you go to Jiu Fen to eat the Yuans? Jiu Fen, yeah. Like the, the one, the walkable. Yeah. It's the same tour. Sun, moon, sun, moon, sun, moon, moon lake. lake. Sun, moon, lake. Sun, moon, lake. Sun, moon, lake. Where you ride, ride the bikes? Yeah. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> Every Taiwanese person did the same tour. You too. have to do it. Yo, we all did it. We all did it like as a kid. I did the same tours as a Taiwanese person. I got it. I got the experience. Did you love boat? I don't. I, I forget. Though. How you we forget if you did love boat? <laughs> that was like mean love probably. boat is. Oh, you don't know? I don't know. Oh, it's yeah, a Taiwanese time... American thing, that's why. You guys are technically actually not Taiwanese American. You weren't born. There's this thing called Love Boat that a lot of Taiwanese people do. You apply and then you can go back to Taiwan to see your roots. It's literally like a cruise where a bunch you get a bunch of like 18 and 19 year olds together that are Taiwanese. Uh -huh. And then they all hang out together. Obviously, you know, they start relationships, maybe they learn about their culture and they go back and visit Taiwan together. At the spectrum, you got Papas that grew up in Asia, you grew up in Shanghai. When you were growing up in Shanghai, and you knew you were a half Taiwanese, obviously. Did yeah. you go to Taiwan a lot? And was there like a push and pull because you're like, I like Taiwan or Shanghai more? And I was there every year already anyway. And I spent months in Taiwan, a month at a time in Taiwan. So it was cool. But my home base was Shanghai. So like my friends, school, the house, everything was in Shanghai. Taiwan has never technically been your home. No, except for all my family members. I'm just going there every year. Right, okay. Hey. Bottoms up. Yay. Got it. Final takeaways from the meal. I think it's really cool how this restaurant appeals to everybody. It's in Highland Park and it's really appealing to the Highland Park crowd. There's not that many Asians here. And I think that's really cool because these dishes are palpable to non-Asians. Like, I think people can eat it. Who's gonna hate on Lou Rofan? It's minced pork over rice. Who can hate? Don Don Man, it's like sesame noodles, a little spice. I mean, one ton, you can't hate it. So I think that, uh, it's really cool that this spot is feeding all different types of people. Some people might say, oh, it's not the traditional, traditional Taiwanese food. But I feel like if I have friends who've never had Taiwanese food, I'll bring them here. Definitely nostalgic eating all of this good food, especially the xiao cai. I think that's the most traditional in terms of eating locally in Taiwan. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. Man, definitely check out Jason Chenny's information down below. Check out Sheila's information down below. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notifications. In the comments below, I will be giving away a $100 Amazon gift card. I'll be emailing it to you. You gotta leave a comment about your cultural identity. And go as deep as you can, leave that comment, because we kind of talked about it here. If you guys have it, Leave it down below. We will be selecting one winner that will message. So definitely leave your Instagram handle down below too so we can message you for your email and we'll be sending a winner a $100 Amazon gift card. Thank you so much. Shout out to Joy in Highland Park. All right, everybody. And until next time, we out. Peace. Hey, hey, don't get me started. Hi. Mayo. Drink. What, what, what is this? That's Just because you got hair and you can flip it? Right.